Well, hi and welcome to another training video. Uh, quite a busy last night, took quite a few trades, well not quite a few trades, took a few trades and had a couple of losses to start with and then we went on to uh, come up and uh, come out good as we normally do. Um, what I do now is just pop up the, uh, the contract notes, you can just see the trades that we took. I'll slide those over now. There we go, and you can see here we've got a minus 12, a minus 5, plus 32, plus 18, and a plus 14. And that's a net of plus 47. Have a look top right of your screen, you can see the position close. You can see they all close at 8.073. There's no uh, guesswork involved in what we do with Pat. That's a great thing about Pat software. We, um, we've got this situation where um, we're able to uh, target specific specific prices so we know where to get out. Now, like I've said in many videos, any fool can get into a market, takes a little bit of skill to get out. This is the beauty of Pat Software. It gives us these points where we can get out, maximize our profits, and not hang around wasting time hoping or praying markets carry on to different levels. My philosophy always is, is you know, know where you're going to take get in the market, know where you're going to get out and take the profit, and that's the pattern that you trade. Not a chart pattern, but that's the model, let us say, that you trade. You know where to get in, know where you, when you're going to get out. Now, I had a question come in um, yesterday about the intent blocks. So what I want to do now is go over on the whiteboard, just talk a little bit about intent blocks, because last night these were quite highly applicable to what I was doing. So what great, uh, what better opportunity, let us say, to explain these than how they were used last night. So I'll get over on the whiteboard now and then we'll have a look and then we'll come back onto the chart and have a look at where, how, how I took these trades or where I took the trades uh, on, the PAT, uh, on the PAT software. So let's get over onto the whiteboard now. Okay, so I've already drawn this up. We can see we've got our intent blocks. We've got our red and our green. True and false, what's around? Okay, let's have a look at this. Now, let's assume now we've got the market going up like this. We've got our pat bars on here. We've got our uh, p volume underneath, which is telling us what's going on. We can see this is going up. And then what happens then is we get this uh, intent block coming. Let's say we get this green intent block coming into here, into here. okay? Now what we want to know is, is this true or is this false? Is this genuine intent? Is this genuine underlying strength in the market? Or is it just the way the, way the market makers are manipulating the market or are manipulating or driving the market up, giving the visual representation or appearance that the market's going to go up, thereby encouraging traders to buy into the market at this point and, uh, before they turn the market down? And we need to know that. So and the way we do that is by just hanging on, we wait to see, and we look at what's going on around. Now in this particular case, or last night, which I'll show you on the chart when we get over there, we had a target line set up down here. I'll show you that line, I mean, just like I say, when we get over there. We had a target line set up here, and with the expectation that this market was likely to come back down to this line. So this raises alarm bells for me when I saw this, that is this true, and I thought that, okay, this is definitely a false intent, this is market maker manipulation driving this up, because I was looking to get back down to here. So really, what we want to know is, by, by, uh, and by looking around, sorry, what we want to know is whether it's true or false, and the way to get that is by looking at what is going on around. And we may see other things over here, again, which I'll cover those in Pat. And this is the beauty of Pat software. It gives us this window, this real window, into what the market's really doing. So we don't pay attention to the facade, if you like. We're looking at the content of the market, what's going on behind, and that's what these, these, these intent blocks do. They highlight us to specific market activity, and then by looking around that, we can get a greater insight into where the market's likely going to move to. So let's get over now onto the chart and have a look at that, and I'll show you what I did over there. Okay, okay, so here we are on the uh, on the live chart. Let's have a look at the uh, 60 minute here. You can see that I've got my line set up at 80068, this one here. This was yesterday, and you can see we've got a green intent then block here. Now that green intent block there, because I'd got this to high volume line here, where I anticipated the market would come down, that's what gave me uh, an indication that that would be a false intent. And once, of course, I know that, then I can trade accordingly. Now what I did was, uh, so I'll get over to the 15 minute now and show you what happened. Let's call this right up, just get rid of this um, trade range rider. Okay, so I saw this coming up, there's the green as you can see from here, market was driven up, and the and I saw the market come back down. Now, I was trading around this time here, so 6.30 I started looking at the market, I saw this come down, I thought, okay, that's it, the market's underway now, um, that was a false intent, and I'm looking to trade down to this level here, about 8.068 or thereabouts. So what I did was I sold the market early on here at 7 o'clock and lo and behold I was, I was 
pulled in there, bit of a sucker's move, pulled into that. Although I'd got the overall direction right, the timing was off, market was then driven back up, and I lost 12 pips, but only 12 pips, so that doesn't take much pulling back at all. So I quickly knew what was going on. I, I could see that uh, the, this, this volume come up, Pat, Pat highlighted me immediately to what was going on here. So I closed that trade off, took a 12 pip loss, and then sat on the side waiting for this to play out. And then you can see what happened is market goes up again. Pat shows us this, look, a lot of increase, increasing volume comes up, block down it drops, getting into a selling situation. And now, but, but, but just prior to that, I believed as soon as I saw this market come up in the jump up here, I thought, aha, maybe that was genuine. Maybe that was the right thing to do. So I actually bought the market there and I bought it here and almost immediately I knew that I'd been suckered into that and I closed that trade off for a minus five pips. So we're down 17 pips at this point. Okay, I want to see the market how it's going to develop out now. Look at it on, look at what happens. Market then comes back down. I see, okay, I know exactly what's going on here now. That was false intent. This is the target you want to get to. So what I did was then I sold the market uh, and I sold it at 91, um, 91.05 and 87. Anyway, on the way down, three trades down there. We got a, and as you saw those on the contract notes, we got a plus 32, plus 18, and a plus 14. And I exited at 73. And the reason I exited at 73, as you can see, right on there, um, and um, you can see I exited down the 73 down there. I'll just tell you why. Let's pop on the uh, trade finder tool. There we go. 8073. That was my exit. That's where I got out. And that's what I say about Pat. They've got this beautiful tool where we can. Um, work out where the market's going to go, we can work out where we're going to get out, and that's how we make profit on the market. And just as a matter of incidence, I didn't, come in, I didn't oh, sorry, just a matter of interest. I didn't trade thereafter, didn't need to, I'd already took the pips. Um, that gave us an 82 over the, over the last two days, or plus 129, I think, over the last three. And um, the market then carries on down. I'm obviously going through bed at this time, it's night time for me here in New Zealand. See how the market affected this is? The market comes back down to this level here back down to this level here. It's the beauty of Pat. We get warned about this way before this stuff happens. Anyway, um, I'll end on that note there and um, well, I'll look forward to catching up with you soon on our very next trading video. Pat software turns confusion into clarity and complex into simple. Pat's easy to understand, easy to use and a complete trading solution. If you're not a member of the Pat team, then maybe you'd like to have a look. We have an active forum where you can come take a look at what we do in more depth and you get to communicate with Pat users and find out what they're up to and how they're doing. If you'd like to pop in and have a look, then when this video finishes, shoot over to learntotrade.com, find the big button that says visit the forum, click on that, and you'll go to the forum registration page. Top right corner of that page, you'll see a button that says create account. Click that, fill out your subscription details, and before you know it, even if you don't have Pat software, you'll quickly see how transparent markets are and how you can profit from them when you truly understand how the market maker's method works. I'll see you on the other side.